we're going to be trying out an hour of Kudelka. I will press the any button. This uh, is a PS1 RPG. Came out, uh, well, North America, this came out in 2000, as it says right there. Um, developed by Sacknoff. And apparently this is the actual first game in the Shadow Hearts series, even though it's not called that. The second game in the series would have the name Shadow Hearts, but this was, I believe, the first one in that series, maybe before they knew it was going to be a series. That could possibly be. Well, like I said, we're going to be trying an hour of this, and uh, let's just get started and see what it is. Too early, Angel. I'm not dead yet. Not yet, but it looks like you're going to die soon. Maybe. But you'll have to pardon me while I tend to some unfinished business first. Business? What can you possibly accomplish in your condition? You can't even hold your gun steady. Well, no, unless I try. That thing's not gonna die unless I shoot it two or three times. <laughs> Damn it! Here, use this! Kudelka! All right, we're going right into a battle scene. Um, okay, so we have action, we have move, we have weight, we have status. We have action, we have attack, magic, weapon. Target him. There we go, we shot him with that guy's gun. And we can move. Anywhere there? I mean, sure, why don't we... Um, I, we don't probably don't need to get closer because we have a gun. We probably want to stay away. Do I have a reason to move? Let's take a look around. Well, no, I would just be getting closer to him. Probably we just stay here. 
All right. What about status? Okay, we got our stats. At this point in time, doesn't mean much to me. Uh, I guess we'll wait. He's doing a thing. He got 10 AP. Still alive. Um, I guess we'll keep waiting. Oh, my turn again? Okay, I guess for whatever reason the monster did not move. That guy said you would have to shoot him two or three times to kill him. This is like the fourth time, so I think he was a little bit wrong about how many bullets it would take. There we go. Okay, we got items. Get Whiskey 3. And the, spare f the spell Flare. That monster was holding a bunch of whiskey and also forbidden magics. All right, here we go. Now we're walking around on some pre-rendered backgrounds, as you do on the PS1. It's quite dark. Can we go talk to him? Hey, what about him? He's dead. Really? Thank you. So I guess my time is up. Hey, Angel. I'm not gonna ask you to take me to heaven. But will you pray for me at least? Are you out of your mind? There's no bloody way I'm going to pray for you. But I guess I owe you because you saved me too. Payback time. Shut up! Keep it down! Okay, let's go. Stand up or I'll leave you here. What happened? It doesn't, doesn't hurt anymore. I'm cured. Yeah, and so I cured you, so what? You? You cured me. But, but I was almost dead. I'm confused, so you really are an angel? Don't be foolish. <laughs> Do you really think that there are angels on Earth? I'm no angel. I'm just a medium with a little curing. I'm, I'm Edward J. Plunkett. I know I look pretty shady, but you don't look too wholesome yourself. I... No, I'm not like you. And this is no place for people like you. Why did you come here? I heard a rumor. A rumor? I heard something in London. That the son of some rich family bought an old monastery. Spent a ton of money to convert it into a house. I heard he brought quite a lot of harlots here. Seems like he was having a great time. So... Where is this monastery? That's what I want to know. I came all this way to put a poor man's fear of God into this rich bastard. So far, I haven't found anything. Then this monster attacked me. I, I almost got killed. If you'd come any later, no doubt I'd be singing hymns in his stomach right I now. I shouldn't have bought such a good horse. She's too fast. Too bad you won't be hearing me sing those hymns. When I was a boy, I was a pretty good soprano. If you don't stop talking, I'll leave you here. My name is Kudalka, and I'm only going to say this once, so don't forget. If you want to get out of here alive, I suggest you stick very close. Got it? Charmed, I'm sure. Some pretty good voice acting. Well, I mean, they're trying. The dialogue is, uh, you, you know, it's it it's video game dialogue from the year two thousand. What are we doing here? Okay, I guess we got a, a party member. And um, do we go through this door? 
Okay, yes. Caretaker quarter, second floor. Oh, we can save. Verifying memory card. Don't remove it. Oh no, the memory card's full. Is that, oh, is, did it say? I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, we're only trying it out. Here's a knight. Okay, so we do have random battles. I guess we still have the gun. We have normal knife, SA pistol, or barehanded. We also have magic. We have a heal spell. So uh, this other character, don't remember the name. Uh, he was so amazed that Kudelka was able to heal him that this healing magic exists. So I guess he's not aware of the existence of magic, perhaps. Fortify various stats. Uh, what if we try a flare? And for Edward, there's his stats. His action. Oh no, he apparently he has access to magic as well. Yeah, he is. Um, he has a lot of MP. So okay, magic is. I don't know why he was surprised about the magic. He clearly is familiar with it. He is barehanded. Let's give him the knife. Let's see if he can engage in some may. Well, probably a bad idea to do that with the knight. But let's see. The knight. Okay. can move, but I guess there's no reason for her to move, because she has the gun, even if she's not going to use magic. Um, can you attack after moving? I mean, I guess we'll find out here. Okay, yes, you can. That did not do much at all. And down goes the night. We got Elmail. You should probably see if we can equip the Elmail. All right, here's the subscreen. We got two cards, Kodelka and Edward. Well, if Edward's the one who's going to be doing melee, probably should. Let's see. Okay, Edward Plunkett is his name. Okay, Water Elmail. There we go. Equipped. We do not have accessories. He is hurt a little bit. That took a lot of MP to do. He's still hurt a little bit, and neither one of us has a lot of MP. What does whiskey do? Uh, examine. Bottle of scotch whiskey has a high alcohol contact, content. can be used to rouse unconscious people. Revives. Okay, so if someone gets knocked out, we just uh, force feed them whiskey until they wake up. 
It doesn't seem like I have anything that will restore the MP, at least not right now. Oh, didn't mean to press that. I'm looking for a, uh, a run button. There it is. It's triangle. Okay, there is something on the ground. I found potion. I got potion. Small bottle of red wine with healing herbs mix mixed in restores some HP. And we can rename these items if we want, if we want to make things uh, more confusing. I think this is a door. It's been locked from the other side, cannot be opened from here. Bugs! Large bugs. Alright, I guess, uh... Edward will attempt to stab the bugs with his stabbing knife. While Kudelka... will shoot them with her shooting gun. Unfortunately, they... Oh, did he take extra damage after that? Oh, he's poisoned. Yes, he did take extra damage after that. All right, I guess we cannot actually move further up the battlefield for some reason. Bug is very weak to dagger. Don't have a don't have like a cure spell on me. Wow, that was a big hit. Oh, that was on her. She didn't really need that. What were the bugs carrying? Oh, we leveled up. Oh, I can, I can assign my points. We can assign them to the strength, the vitality, the dex, to agile. I mean, we only have four points. I guess I'll put them in those. We could put them in pie. I mean, technically, you want to put all your points into pie. Kudelka wants as much pie as possible. This is probably fine, though. You know, the, um, let's see. Oh, actually, hold on. Heal. I assume that the poison effect does not continue on. Doesn't, okay, no indication that it has. I assume that it doesn't continue into the, after the battle. Go, go, go. You know, the perspective here. And the fact that it's pre-rendered backgrounds, I think, is kind of messing me up. I feel like this should be tank controls. They're not. And it's... it's I just keep feeling like it should be. I should probably explore that room some more. There we go. I found pistol rounds. I will pick up the item. I 
I found a Dirk hidden behind the picture frame. Yeah, we'll pick up the Dirk. We got Dirk. What's Dirk going to do for us? Okay, Edward has a normal knife. What if he takes the fire Dirk? So it's 22 to 27, 18 to 22, 15 to 17. It all sounds good. Nightman again. Let's see. Do I have to, like, manually reload the weapons or something? I might have done so there. Okay, yes. She can now shoot the gun. Fire Dirk doing big damage. Edward Plunkett has gotten to level two. He's got four points, which of course is all going into pie. Edward loves his pie. I found Listel. Yeah, let's pick it up. Interesting that they give you the option to not pick it up, because why would you not want to pick up an item? Listel, a small bottle of rose wine with a soothing bouquet. Restore some MP. Oh, that's good. All right, we have a way to restore MP, which we did not have before. Mm, more pistol rounds. I'm glad that this is one of these locations where people just leave boxes of bullets everywhere. It looks like it's been ransacked. Let's do our thing. The thing we do. So is that... Does he have, like, sh big shards of glass sticking out of him? And he just sort of rams it? Just sort of rammed him with it? I think that's what he's... What I'm seeing there? Fire Dirk doing big damage. We got a spear. 
All right, let's check out the spear. So if we want to compare that to Edward's fire dirk, there's earth spear, which let's see, strength is 27 to 31, vitality 23 to 26, dex goes down and agility goes down. What if we wanted uh, Kudelka to maybe do some melee? She doesn't have armor, though. Let's see. Now, we could try it. Maybe lay off the bullets for right now, but would be good if we could find some L mail for her, though. Something blocking me? It looks like we've got some ghosts. Some spooky ghosts. Can our physical weapons fight ghosts? We will find out, I guess. Well, I mean, could use magic while we're waiting for them to approach. Why don't we try some flare? Well, that seemed more visually impressive than my flare, but it did not do too much damage, so... Don't know what that is, but it barely does anything to her, so I'm that's it's a good thing. Happy about that. Oh, Kudelka is silenced. I guess that's what that was. Hmm. Are these ghosts too far away to yeah, too far away to attack with my fizz weapon? I guess more flare. Is it dead? Okay, yes, it is. Oh, it's his turn again. He doesn't have any more MP. Two, no, he, yeah, he can't use his knife now. That was a lot more effective. Turns out, ghosts, weak to knife. Feel free to stab ghosts. Hmm? Cannot attack with that? Is it too far? Is it still too far away? All right. Take the fire, Dirk. Hi. 
I got more. I got booze. These ghosts had booze. I, yeah, that's right. Before the fight began, I was wondering, can I walk? F I'm having difficulty parsing. The okay, there we go. I had to press the button to go down the stairs. There were stairs in the way. Had to press the interact button for her to walk downstairs. Oh, what was that? Oh, mysterious force. I guess I don't have whatever I need to remove the mysterious force. guess we're gonna do what we've been doing we have not actually gotten to use this spear yet i wonder, I wonder if it has any more distance than the knife you would think so because considering how long it is but Finally, let's try the spear. It's not bad. Not as good as our fire dirk, but it's not bad. Delka has gone up a level. Oh, R let's press R2 for AP explanation. Okay, this tells us just what the various stats do. And we put one into each stir vit dex aggle last time. I guess let's put put one into int, one into pi, one into mind, one into look. We got a whiskey. I'm just kind of rubbing myself against the wall while pressing the interact button to, you know, see if anything we do anything. Okay. Random battle is what we're doing. I think I'm not entirely clear as to what our characters are doing. Like they first met when Kudelka came into the house. Are they here to, to rob it, or...? I mean, that would, that would seem like that would be the, the most likely explanation.
they haven't seemed to acknowledge the bit about it being full of monsters. I mean, I'm sure that'll, I'm sure at some point they'll have to say, hey, this house is dangerous. And then you give some sort of, you have an explanation for why it's so dangerous. They don't really seem all, all that concerned about it being dangerous here, though. Edward Plunkett has gone up. Um... Yeah, let's do that. I guess we'll do that. We got a, another spear. It seems like the fire dirk seems better than the spear, though. I think that Edward Plunkett will keep his fire spear, fire dirk. Okay, we're back here. By the way, is there, um... I just wanted to see if there was something here for, like, map. Is there a map of the house? Maybe we can find a map of the house somewhere. All right, well... Can can't really see what that is. Sure, why don't we use a flare? I'm right next to it. Can I not use my weapon? I wonder, does maybe physical weapons don't work? I mean, we will see when we try the fire, Dirk, but... Let's get next to it and try. Oh, no, no. It, it works. Oh, okay. That was all. Just needed a good dirking. Now the top doors. No, that's where, that's where we came from, or where we went to. That's where we came into the room. Need to find an, the other door that we originally used to get in here, which is there. Let's see. Can we take the stairs down? Okay, yeah, there are stairs going down. We'll we'll do that. Well, we've seen this, and we know that it's... Well, it wasn't much of a threat last time. Who knows? Maybe it actually has some sort of super devastating attack. It just wasn't ab actually able to do last time. Maybe I should be careful. I wonder if I have to be two squares. That, that wouldn't make much sense, would it? If being too close to use the physical weapon. I mean, that maybe that's something to think of next time.
There's an old couple in the room, Ogden and Bessie Hartman, who say, who say they are the caretakers of the, the Menton Monastery. Who said that? Hello? Are we loading? So okay. How unusual that you two have decided to come to our rural district. There's really nothing interesting here. It has gotten so cold outside. We weren't expecting any visitors. The soup is all we have. Please, have as much as you want. Oh, yes, please. Thanks. It smells great. Wouldn't you like some, dear? Don't you like potato soup? No. It's not that. I'm all right for now. Thank you for your hospitality, though. <laughs> no trouble at all. Please let me know if there's anything we can do. We are the only ones who live here, and it's so rare that we get any visitors. So are you two really the only ones who live here? Why do you ask? Well, it was pretty foggy, so I couldn't tell for sure. But this building looked like an old church or something. It seems a little big just for the two of you. You're right. In the ninth century, a saint from Ireland named Daniel Scotius built a place of worship here to appease monsters and evil spirits. That was how the Nemeton Monastery started. Or so I heard. Monsters. Is that right? Yes. What about them? You might not believe this, but we saw a monster on our way here. Is that so? You saw it too? You mean... That monster's been around for a while? Well, we've been taking care of the monastery for a number of years, but from about six months ago, monsters have been appearing. We see them more and more every month. And I used to be a sailor. I'm not afraid of any monsters. Oh, dear. What if something terrible happens to you? We almost got killed back there. Now we're out of bullets. That's not good. The monsters might try and attack you again. I'll spare you some bullets. Thanks, that'd be great. Looking after others. He's so wonderful at that. So, have you two been together long? <laughs> yes, quite a while. Now, all he does is paint and maintain this old building. That's his daily routine. But back in the old days... Thanks, Ogden. I owe you one. Oh, okay. We're back out here. Yes, we were attacked by one monster. Only one monster. It's not like we were attacked by some sort of shadow beast right outside your dining room. Can I go back in the dining room? It's, no, it's locked. They locked the door. I mean, okay. Sure, there are monsters outside. What, a, what an odd scene. Did they not realize that... Uh, their monastery is crawling with monsters, or no? They said that they they saw the one, but only the one. Well, at least they gave us some hot potato soup, even though Kudelka did not want any. Now this would make good rations. Let's take some with us. I can't believe it. Are you still hungry? I didn't have anything to eat or drink for three days. Of course I'm hungry. Speaking of which, you wasted all of that food. What's wrong with you? Yeah, if it weren't poison, then I would have had some. Pardon? I said, if the soup weren't poisoned, then I would have had some. Got it? Poison? <laughs> no way. Just a little bit. I smelled some poisonous plant. What's that? Oh. Oh, I can tell you how you're going to feel. In about half an hour, you won't be able to move your body. If you don't find an antidote, you'll definitely die. Uh, so they really were trying to kill us. But why? Don't know. But it seems they're quite used to doing it this way. <laughs> they must be hiding something. Listen, Edward. I'm going to try to cure you now, but you have to promise that when I do, you won't get mad and rush back to that couple right away. 
It's safer if we pretend we're dead and continue exploring this building. I think we'll find something interesting for sure. Oh no, the cup, the nice couple were in on it. They were in on it with the monsters. The monsters could not kill us through random battles, so the kindly old couple tried to kill us through hospitality. I found knife. Sure, I'll take knife. I got knife. You wouldn't think knife would be as good as fire, dirk, or spear, but, I mean, we'll take a look. Nah, it's not. Why even get normal knife at this point? Nothing useful here. Pot hung over the fire. Uh, oh no, I'm being attacked by furniture. How effective will our weapons be against the furniture? Chair hit me with a chair. All right. Um, what if I'm two spots away? Th that, okay, that is it. I have to be two spots away. One is too close. Glad he got all three pieces of furniture in one swing. Blocked it. I didn't realize our characters could block. I got whiskey from the ghost. Like, everything in this house is carrying whiskey. Everything in this house is constantly sloshed all the time. It's probably why we're able to beat them so easily. They're, like, stumbling and mumbling. They don't know what they're doing. Is there a thing here? No, it doesn't seem like it. But there's a door. There it is. Oh no, um, I can't tell what those are. Is it like, oh, it's a disembodied arm. It's like a zombie arm. He's blocking everything. Mr. Plunk, it's a blocking machine.
Did we get whiskey? We did. Those zombie arms were drunk off their... Well, not off their asses. They don't have asses. They're just arms. I don't even know how they were drinking it. Maybe, like, maybe they put, like, the cutoff part on their shoulder. They just, like, put it into the whiskey and just sort of soaked it in. Is there, like, a thing there? Looks like there's something green that kind of stands. Yeah, there it is. Panacea. And what does that do for us? Compound containing various herbs. Cures poisoning, paralysis, para silence, and other abnormal status effects. Does a bunch of stuff. There's a light coming from below. There must be a room underground. I don't didn't seem like there was a door down there. More ghosts. I will say that the battle system in this game does seem deliberate, let's call it. Relaxing, some might say. A methodical pace, you might call it. Takes its time. It's in no rush. The fire jerk, it broke. I did not realize there was a chance for weapons to break. That was our best weapon, too. Well, that does add a certain uh, risk element. <laughs> get tons of whiskey. Let's get Edward and Kudelka just completely wasted tonight. All right, let's, um, let's see. Let's see, normal knife, earth knife. Earth knife has, normal knife has slightly higher stir. Okay, actually, normal knife's better than earth, earth knife. What is this? Why would earth knife not be better? How odd. Can I look at that, like, something in the background there? No, it doesn't look like it. Nothing useful here. Listel. 
There's like a thing on that table. What's that thing? Found hammer. All right. It's much more powerful. Slower, but... You know, of course we're going to try the hammer. Pipe! We got pipe. I mean, you would think pipe would not be as powerful as hammer. Dark and it is more powerful than hammer. All right, let's equip the dark pipe. Equipped. Um, actually, how does hammer compare to the earth spear? Um, it actually compares very well. I mean, I assume we would have to get into one space away instead of two spaces away. But yeah, that's fine. Never found any more armor, though. What's that say? The furnace won't open. Something's not right. Now, what's she looking at? It's a man collapsed on the ground. He looks like he's passed out. I guess we can't do anything about that. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Well, nothing we have to worry about, I'm sure. As you try to move deeper into the herb garden, a giant plant attacks you! I like how it gives us text descriptions of what's happening. Like they couldn't, I don't know, didn't have the time or money maybe to animate the cutscene of the plant attacking us. So it just gets some text telling us that it happens. All right, um, let's attempt to fight. wonder if that was a poison. It looked like it might be a poison. That flare is not doing much. Plant tornado. Plants are well known for their abilities to summon tornadoes. Oh, Flare did a lot better that time. Kudelka is poisoned. Oh, I should have done two spots, not one. Still too far away. Uh, let's see. What? Let me use a thing on her. No, not, not that. Her. Yeah, there he is. Uh, oh, yes. I like how it's just kind of wiggling. Just wiggling there. Eat dark pipe. Huh. And also eat some hammer. Uh. No, I just vomited all over her. Kudelka is poisoned again.
They are both poisoned. We did it. We beat the plant to death. Bonus points. And oh, not whiskey. We did not get booze this time. This plant was on the straight and narrow. We got the icon's necklace and learned the spell. Geyser. Oh, we're still moving freely. Is this guy still unconscious? Oh, no. Eh? Th yep. Oh. My head. What happened? Oh, yes, that's right. That monster. Oh. Who on earth are you two? Hey, we rescued you and that's your way of saying thanks? Little did I know that these these days were into rescuing perfect strangers. You. My name is Kadalka, and this is Edward. Would you mind telling us how you ended up collapsed on this path? My name is James. Oh, James O'Flaherty. I've been searching for something, and it took me to the monastery. Little did I know that it become a breeding ground for demonic spirits. Then how did you get in here dressed like that? Through the main gate, of course. The caretakers welcome me with open arms. That husband and wife team? And the food? Was there no poison in your food? What are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? Those caretakers tried to poison and kill us. That's not funny. I find it inappropriate for you to try to dupe an upstanding believer of the Christian faith. So nothing happened to you then? Of course not. Not until I encountered that monster. Yeah? And we're the ones who took care of that monster. Far be it from me to expect any words of gratitude from you. I see. And I can tell from your appearances that the power of your faith alone was not enough to smooth things out with that monster. It wasn't the kind of problem that faith alone could solve. Ugh. Look at this plinth. It's broken now, but... Holy water ran from it until recently. But I've become distracted. Almighty God, please give me the strength to ward off these monsters. I can see that we've wasted our time here. Mm -hmm. Let's go, Kudelka. Just a minute. Although I'm under the protection of the Lord, it doesn't hurt to take precautionary measures. I think I'll go with you. With the monster gone, the font has once again filled with holy water. You can save here. Did he see so joined our party? Yeah, there he is. 
Um, look at the status. James O. Flaherty. He's a bare-handed priest. Uh, well, I guess that's our hour of, of Kudelka. Uh, odd game. It's, like I said, a deliberate pace. It seems kind of interesting. Um... Dark. I mean, I'm sure that's something that could be could be fixed by changing some uh, some video settings, but it has been a bit dark, a little bit difficult to really parse the backgrounds and uh, really see where I'm supposed to be going. But I guess we did eventually make our way to this room where we had our first boss battle against the big plant and saved the father here, um, who, just like our other two characters. His uh, motive is not the clearest. He just said, I came here for something. My path led me here. And that's kind of the story we have for all three of our characters, I guess. Um, they're all here for something. They're looking. Maybe they... Will they find it? Maybe. Um, I guess we should give some points. Let's see. What would you say about the points? For immoral points. Um, well, has anyone? I mean, the the fam, the uh, the old couple that we encountered, they tried to poison us. Um, that is definitely that is definitely immoral. Uh, Kudelka, the way she talks, it, it sounds like that she tries to pass herself off as immoral, but I mean, she has healed. Edward twice, um, and she uh, she seems like she's all right so far, despite her posturing. Um, so uh, we have not really seen any immoral acts from our from the two characters we've been playing as so far. The priest, uh, we don't know about the priest yet. I mean, he's part of our party, but might who knows how immoral he might be? Can't say. Suspense. Uh, I'm going to say um, no, none, in that I don't know why anyone's doing anything. We're just, or what we're looking for, or why we're here. I'm going to say there's been no suspense from uh, this hour of the game. Um, erotic. Uh, has there been any anything about this game we would consider erotic? Hmm... We fought a lot of ghosts. There was that plant. But the, the plant was like wiggling. Um, but, mm, eh. All right. I guess the scores we're going to give Kudelka would be something like this. Immoral. There was an attempted poisoning. Suspense none. Erotic. Eh. Eh. Specifically said in that way, it's not none, it's nah, in that particular uh, pronunciation. Um, so I guess that's what we're going to be giving for Kudelka. As I said, it's the apparently the first game in the Shadow Hearts series. Uh, a PlayStation 1 RPG, though clearly it's, clearly it's combining RPG elements with uh, survival horror elements in the way... It looks and the way it plays as you're exploring around. Um, do the two go together well? I'm not sure if the two go together well. I, w I will say that when exploring around the rooms looking for items as you would in a Resident Evil game, the random battles are not the most welcome things in the world. I don't, So I'm not sure how I feel about the combination of these two things. But um, that was our hour. I, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the random battles and the dialogue and the attempted poisoning. That's our look at Kudelka.